What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys another Gears of War 4 gear pack opening video, but today is not a normal gear pack opening video. Today, for the first time ever on my channel, I'm actually opening an airdrop, and this is the Season Pass Series 2 airdrop. The Coalition are giving this as a gift to Season Pass holders, and then I believe every week from then on we get a, uh, a free gear pack. Uh, at some day in the week. I'm not sure what day in the week it is, but uh, yeah, let's go right to the store here. So as you can see, whenever it loads there, there we go. It says Season Pass Series 2. So they kind of look like they're uh, similar to Operations Packs, but what these packs do is it, it only gives you Series 2 skins, which is pretty amazing. So it says exclusive gift, uh, sorry, exclusive gift for Season Pass holders containing only the new Series 2 content. So this is insane. For me personally, I'm someone who loves like to get my hands on duplicates and all that kind of thing so I can upgrade my horde skills, get extra scrap for when they release like legacy characters and things like that. Um, but hopefully I can get some skins that I actually want. Um, honestly at the moment I don't really want anything in particular. I suppose when I see it I know I'll want it then. But of course, as always, let's get stuck right in. Here we go. Pack number one. We have 20 packs to go through. That's insane. Alright, so... Let's go. Oh, we only get three cards per pack. Okay, I thought it was a five card pack, but that, I guess that makes sense. That would have been a bit, it might have been a bit like too insane if it was five card packs, but we have a common, a rare, and a rare. All right, let's go. Let's see what we get. All right, so we got a smile torque bow. You know what? The common skins that came out with series two are actually some of the best looking skins in the game, which kind of blows my mind. Uh, optical retro lancer and a Dell necklace retro. Uh, so, eh, kind of an eh, 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 eh. Yeah, <laughs> an eh pack to start off with. Let's see what we get now. So we got a rare, a common, and a rare. Let's go. All right, so optical overkill and a smile overkill and an overdrive lancer. I wonder is overdrive kind of like a, uh, a reference to sunset overdrive because the paint job kind of reminds me of uh, the, the cover art of that game. But anyway, into the next pack. Let's see what we get up in here. Alright, let's hit the Y button and let's see what we get. Uh, we got a Blood Omen Nasher, which I actually have. And a Smile Overkill and a Blood Omen Snub. I actually completed the Blood Omen set uh, for Lancer, Nasher, and Snub. So, uh, all of that is pretty much duplicates for me. So, into the scrap heap for you, Mr. Pack. Alright, let's see. I'm hoping for a Legendary of some kind. I actually already have... Ooh, an Epic! I already have... Uh, Kim, Zombie Kim, and Anya uh, unlocked. So I think I need Gear Corpse. That's the only one I need that's legendary that I really want. I forgot. I'm not sure if there is another one. Okay, so we got Helmetless E Day Gear. I did not have that skin yet. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I had the Blood Omen Marxist, so I'll definitely hang on to that one. I usually scrap skins that I don't really use, but um, I think I'll hang on to the Blood Omen Marxist. It's kind of one of the sets that I do want to hold on to. And for those of you who think you might recognize Blood Omen, it's actually the bodied skin from Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which was a community exclusive skin, but they put it into this game now and renamed it, which is kind of cool. And uh, the bodied skin looks like different in this game, I think. I think it has like a, a blood mark on the front of it or something like that. But anyway, we got the Helmetless E-Day gear and a Smile Nasher. It's a pretty solid pack. I probably will not use that character. I'll probably end up scrapping it, to be honest. Uh, so we got a rare, a common, and a rare. Let's see, show me. Uh, we got an Ivory 8-Ball Drop Shot, a Smile Ambar, and a Blood Omen Snub. Lots of Blood Omen skins today. That 8-Ball uh, that Drop Shot does look really good, though. A white skin on a, on Power Weapons is quite odd to see. The only one I have I recall seeing is the Snowman skin for the Boom Shot. But uh, on to the next pack. And let's see, this will be uh, 14 more packs to go after this. So I have a Common, a Common, and a Rare. Wow. Come on, game. Come on, Gears Gods. you got to be generous. Uh, I'm sure once we get down to the last two, it might clutch up then. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, so we got a Sugar Retro Lancer, a Smile Ambar, and an Ivory 8 Ball Enforcer. Alright, on to the next packet. Let's see, I'm just gonna hit Y right away on this one. Oh yeah, an Epic. Let's see what it is. We got a V-Day Medic. I actually already have this skin, so... Uh, into the scrap heap he goes for me, but that Dragon Eye Lancer looks really, really cool. And the Chillin Marks looks really nice as well, actually. But um, I think I think Chillin Marks is going to go into the scrap heap as well. So on to the next packet. Let's see what we get here. 
All right, I'm just gonna smack Y on this one again. Another epic. Let's see. Oh, we got a helmetless E Day gear. I think that's the one we just got before this. So more scrappage. <laughs> oh boy, this is Scrap City right here. And we got Voodoo Retro Lancer. I actually really like that skin, and I believe there was something like it in Gears Ultimate Edition as well. Uh, and then I have Oscar Tattoo Torque Bow, which doesn't look that bad. I like the variety though, uh, and the amount of Torque Bow skins we have now. There's, it's so nice that there's actually like a bunch of skins. Uh, like for the Hammer Burst, Enforcer, Torque Bow, all those weapons that kind of only had like four or five skins before. There's like a bunch of the, there's like a bunch of those skins in the game now. So, uh, on to the next pack. Let us see. I'm just going to smack Y on this one right away. Oh, legendary. What did we get? We got the lightning long. Oh my God. Lightning long shot. That looks so badass. Oh my God. I didn't know. Oh my god, I did not expect to get that at all. So we got the Sugar Bull Talk, the Dell Necklace Hammer Burst, and the Lightning Long Shot. So see, this is where I'm kind of half and half. I'm like, will I use this? Should I scrap it? Or should I hold on to it for sentimental value? The fact that I actually just opened this. Lightning Long Shot, that sounds so badass though. That sounds like one of the, you know, it sounds like a legendary item, you know what I mean? But uh, you know, that's amazing. We actually got the Lightning Long Shot, that's badass. I'm so curious if we'll get uh, more of the lightning set in uh, the rest of this, because I believe there is lightning for pretty much everything in this, uh, all of the skins actually, so that'll be interesting to see if we can get some more, but onto the next pack. Damn, the lightning long shot, that's so, that's insane, did not expect that at all. So I'm just gonna hit Y straight away from now on, let's see. So we got Oscar Tattoo, Boom Shot, Smile, Bull Talk, and Sugar Lancer. The Sugar Lancer actually looks pretty good. I like the, it kind of looks like Black Steel, sort of. So if any of you kind of, Missed Black Steel. Honestly, that doesn't look too much different, but I know you're kind of going, well, Pete, you could say that now that you actually have Black Steel. I know, but uh, honestly, it does the job, I feel. Uh, but anyway, on to the next pack. Let us see. All right. Hitting the Y button right away. We got two rares and a common. I got the Voodoo Snub, the Smile Lancer, and the Loader Hammer Burst. I've not seen that one yet. Uh, it kind of looks like the Smile Skin, kind of like a matching set, sort of. But, uh, probably into the scrap heap, uh, in my opinion, anyways. Alright, well, not too fond of that pack. I'm not sure if anything is going to top the lightning long shot that we just got, but let's see. Come on, We're hoping for at least one more legendary. So we got the Sugar Bull Talk, uh, the Kate Tattoo Torque Bow, and the Sugar Retro Lancer. The Sugar set does look really good, actually, now that I think about it when I'm looking at it here. It looks like the card is, like, shattered. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like the... Like, the card has, like, a glass overlay, and it's, like, broken. I think that's what that's supposed to be. But anyway, uh, the Kate Tattoo Torque Pro looks pretty good. But uh, other than that, yeah, yeah. Anyway, on to the next pack. Fingers crossed for another legendary. Hopefully, like, when we get down to the last five, it just starts being mad generous. All right, another Sugar Skin, a Blood Omen Boom Shot. I'll probably hang on to that. And a Dell Necklace uh, Nash. I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah, you can just kind of barely make out. So at the front is kind of... Uh, where you can kind of see the rope dangling down to the middle of the Nasher. You can kind of see the, the actual pendant in the middle of the Nasher there. But anyway, on to the next pack. The boom shot was definitely the highlight of that packet. All right, hitting the Y button. We got two rares. We got the Dragon Eye Marks. I do like the Dragon Eye skin a lot, actually. Uh, the Smile Retro Lancer and another Ivory 8-Ball Drop Shot. All right. Pretty meh, pretty meh. All right, on to the next one. Come on, Mr. Legendary, please. All right, we have, I believe that's a duplicate Blood Omen Marksa. We got a Smile Overkill and a Chillin' Marksa, which is also a duplicate. We just got one a few cases ago. Into the next one. Come on, Gears Gods, please. Give me, give me more Legendaries. Two commons. Hello? Oh, we got a Peacenik Boom Shot, uh, a Sugar Ember, and a Smile Overkill. Eh. <laughs> uh, P Peter is not amused. All right, let's see here. Oh, an epic! Let's see what we get. We got the Hypno Torque Bow. Whoa, dude! I, I'm so like iffy about the Hypno skin. I was someone who was like hating on it when it was in Gears of War Judgment. Was was the Hypno skin on? A, was it an armor skin? in Gears of War 4. I feel like it was, or not Gears of War 4, sorry, Gears of War Judgment, because Judgment had some really odd skins that made me, like, feel really dizzy. There was one that, like, when you're walking along, it was, like, a static image, and it just looked really, but it was animated, but the, the way the animation was, it looked like the picture was staying in one spot. It was so odd to look at. Some of those skins were just way too distracting, but 
I'll, I'll try out the Hypno Torque Ball, see if I like it or not. Uh, but other than that, the pack was kind of eh. Um, Hypno Torque Ball definitely being the highlight of it. But into the next pack, let us see what we get. Please, one more legendary at least. Come on, two rares. We got the Optical Hammer Burst, the Overdrive Bull Talk, and the Sugar Snub. All right, last two packs. Come on, Gears Gods. Please, we can do it. I mean, I believe we got a smile boom shot, a sugar overkill, and an Oscar tattoo snub. All right, final pack. I have a feeling we're not gonna top this lightning long shot. Please. Ah, damn it. All right, so we got the sugar ball talk and a sugar marksa and an overdrive snub. So that's it. Open all 20 packs. It's super cool that season pass owners actually get something like that. I wonder if we'll get that like once a month. I think they said that we're getting a gear pack, like one of those gear packs each week and uh, now for season pass holders. So it kind of gives us the ability to like build up scrap for when those legacy characters come out. So let's uh, let's go take a look at that lightning long shot real quick. Um, I currently have all, <laughs> all of the Onyx gold stuff on, as you guys can see. Um, but let's go down to the sniper here and take a look at that lightning long shot. There's a skin in this game that's called Static which I believe is uh, is epic. Um, so here's here's lightning long shots. This looks super cool. It's basically, it it behaves like actual lightning, kind of, if you know what I mean. Like it, it flashes and has that electric flow and stuff. It's it just, it's really weird to watch. And it, it, it doesn't appear to have the same, it doesn't appear to be looping the same kind of short amount. It looks like the, the loop is like, long it looks like it runs for a minute doing different things and then it loops around again if that makes any sense but uh hold on, let me show you guys this other skin so if you guys are like saving up for this lightning long shot there's actually a skin that i kind of like better um it's called the static uh where is it the static there it is right here so this one like actually behaves better it's it's it kind of seems like if you imagine thunder going off um, this is how, like, lightning would behave in a storm, the way this is looking. And I, I love the way that it's, like, kind of green lightning. So if you guys are kind of like, ah, oh, I'd love the lightning skins, but I don't want to be wasting scrap, I'd advise maybe building one of these. Uh, I believe the static skin is on every weapon as well. So, uh, if you guys are looking to, you know, if you're, like, looking at the lightning skin, but, like, uh, I don't know if I want to, you know, waste all my money on that. Or, sorry, not money, but your, uh, scrap. I definitely recommend getting the static bull talk, but that's been pretty much it guys. Let's take one more look at the lightning long shot Real quick before we end the video uh, There it is. That was definitely the highlight. Oh wait, what the hell? There we go It was like glitch for a sec it like looked like I was holding the default one But uh, yeah, that has been it for the opening guys I hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content Share the video around if you really enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.